We understand that the rural crossings have become pretty rough uh, and that the uh, citizens and residents of the security Whitefield area and Fountain uh, have been uh, uh, calling uh, with concerns about these crossings uh, and that the uh, county is going to do everything in its power uh, to ensure we take care of our residents and our citizens. We're working with BNSF on the schedule. We're planning the beginning of March and they'll be done separate weeks. So the plan right now is to do the Fontaine Crossing first and the Main Street Crossing second. And we're hoping that we'll finish it early March. Unfortunately, if it gets postponed, there are some other projects that get in the way and the project, this, these projects will probably be extended to May. El Paso County will be responsible for all the, the pavement work. We'll be saw cutting the pavement. We'll be replacing the pavement. We're also responsible for the sidewalk and the curb and gutter. We'll be replacing the concrete with asphalt sidewalk and asphalt curb and gutter. We'll also be putting pavement markings in and El Paso County is going to be doing the traffic control for the projects. BNSF will be responsible for the track itself, over the, you know, the crossing itself and they're going to be replacing the track, the ties, and coming back and raising it up so that it's back to its original elevation. The residents are looking at a detour and all the traffic uh, when we're working on the Fontaine crossing is going to be moved here to Main Street. When this crossing is being worked on, all the traffic is going to be moved to Fontaine and it's about a mile and a quarter each direction, so it is going to be an inconvenience for the, for the traffic at that time. Obviously, there are other alternatives. They can go farther north to Academy or farther south to Mesa Ridge Parkway. The detours are expected to last three days, but again, that's weather dependent. It could last a little bit longer. We're hoping to confine it to, you know, a week so that we're not, so that we don't have one of the crossings closed over a weekend. I ask uh, our residents uh, for patience as we address these issues and we apologize for any inconvenience as uh, uh, we address the situation here with the railroad crossings.